Touchdown, official! It's over. Boston College wins all the way! It's a touchdown for Miami! Looking for the end zone. Oh, oh. now Torrey Holt. Johnson there. Touchdown! And there's Orange in the end zone! One of the biggest plays in Duke history. A moment of magic! Welcome to another Throwback Thursday. Seeing as how Clemson visits North Carolina State tonight, we went digging into the vault, looking for the best Tigers Wolfpack game ever. We think we chose a great one, 1998, and it was on Halloween. Tigers and Wolves and referees, oh my. Clemson had won seven of nine against NC State and three in a row, but Torrey Holt had one of the great games of his career to stop the streak. I'll be tweeting from the ACCDN Twitter account, so make sure you follow us on Twitter at the ACCDN. Here you go. Clemson, North Carolina State, 1998. Steve Martin, Bill Dooley, and Charlie Frederick have the call. Our Throwback Thursday game here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. The Wolfpack of NC State carry a frightful array of weapons on offense. A mobile veteran quarterback in Jamie Barnett plus a pair of game-breaking receivers. And the new kid in town, running back Ray Robinson. But it will take all of that and then some to scare off one of the ACC's best defensive units. The Clemson Tigers won't have any postseason plans this year, but they'll have a lot to say about the chances of others. Clemson and NC State are ready to rock Death Valley, and it's coming your way next. First and 10 from the 15-yard line. Raymond Robinson is back there in a nail back position. Barnett will play fake to him. Off a five step drop off his back foot. Throw to Torrey Holt complete. Holt in a foot race with Crutchfield, and Holt is going to win it. Touchdown, uh, NC State. 85 yards downfield. Well, that old expression is either feast of famine. Clemson came with the blitz. Jamie Barnett got the ball off to a dangerous receiver, Torrey Holt. And that's the result. That guy can catch, he can run, he can throw. Torrey Holt does it all. And he doesn't have to run into Antoine Edwards back there. <laughs> Edwards out with the injury. Holt got behind Daryl Crutchfield and scored. And now here comes the point after. This is Dan Deskovich. Deskovich is a senior from Charlotte, North Carolina, getting set to kick the point after. He's not missed a kick thus far this season. Six field goals and 12 point after. He's a walk off. Out of the hold of Ryan Hammer. There's the kick, and it is good. So NC State scores. Torrey Holt, just like that. Well, let's take a look at it from the end zone. Watch the blitz coming, and they. He's able to get that ball off, Jamie Barnett, and there's Hope. And he just outruns. There's no way that they're going to catch him. Here's look, there's Butler. He turns Crutchfield, and then it's yes. off to the race. Number 30. That's his 27th career touchdown and his eighth or seventh touchdown reception of the season. Looking at second down and 12 after the two yard loss to the 12 to the 17 yard line. Streeter the pass hit as he threw complete. And that pass is complete to Justin Watts. Watts pulls down the reception. And wait he fumbled the ball and Tony Scott may have picked it up. That's exactly what it looked like from here. We'll just have to wait and see what he what he calls. Well, he did. NC State has possession of that football, Steve. Let's watch it again. There's Streeter releasing the ball. Just, oh, what a hit right there. The ball pops right up in the air. And he comes down with it. My gosh. First and goal from the four yard line. Jackson is back at fullback with Robinson. Here's the handoff, Robinson, and Robinson is in the end zone. Touchdown, NC State. Boy, that's what running behind your shoulders will do. He, you could say he smelt the end zone and he was going to it. Well, we talked about Robinson running up in there, but give that offensive line credit. Look at that hole. The left side of that offensive line uh, got some movement on the defense. And, of course, Robinson was able to go in there. Interesting day around the ACC. Georgia Tech, as we showed you earlier, had another defensive conversion of a turnover into a touchdown. And it was seventh this season. 
Second down and 11 for Clemson. Here is Zachary. A little more running room off the right side this time. Ball loose. Ball loose, and who's got it? NC State says they have it. Now the question is, was the ball blown dead? It's going to be NC State ball. Coming away with it. There it is. That's Nate Goodson. You know, Coach, I know you prepare for everything, but you don't prepare for turnovers. You don't anticipate that your team's going to cough it up many times. Not that many. Nope. Here's Barnett out of the shotgun. Oh, player to hold. Dangerous after the ball. Touchdown, NC State. That's that little slip screen. What a very effective play. He throws it behind the line of scrimmage, and the linemen are able to get out in front and block. And, of course, Torrey Holt goes inside. Well, the turnovers caused those, Steve. I mean, they... They were in it, then all of a sudden they just like gifts to NC State. This is a little slip screen. You'll see the lineman get out in front. The ball is thrown behind the line to Torrey Holt. Good blocking up in front, and Holt takes it right into the end zone. Let's take a isolation there on Holt. You know, this guy does it all. What a big play football player he is. Call it officially third and one. Witherspoon and Austin and Churchu. Full house backfield. I with a wing to the right and a handoff. Fumble. Picked up by Jason Perry. Witherspoon was hit as he got to the line of scrimmage and Perry is in pursuit of the end zone. Perry gets in there for a touchdown on the fourth Clemson turnover of the day. A 35 yard fumble return. What a tackle to jar that ball loose. I mean, that was unbelievable. And Jason uh, Perry was heads up, had good concentration on the ball in the air, picks it off and goes for the touchdown. Steve Martin, Bill Dooley, Charlie Frederick on the scene for the 18th renewal of the Textile Bowl, and it's been everything we expected. Four turnovers for the Clemson Tigers. Three of them have resulted in NC State scores. But now it is Clemson after driving the length of the field on a march of 82 yards for a score on a two point conversion to cut it to 11. And now second down and 15 at the 23 of NC State, driving for another score. That can draw them even closer. Pass is complete in the slot for Wofford. Wofford into the 15 yard line. Well, there's that slip screen pass again. Very effective. Wofford took that ball, and I thought he was going to cut up inside. Had he have, he'd have got more yardage. Just take a look at it. The blocking's out in front. There's number 25, Wofford. Good blocking and an excellent play by the linebacker, number 15, Clayton White. A shoestring tackle. But as you said, Bill, there was running room to the inside. Oh, there was a lot of running room to the inside, yep, Steve. There wasn't anybody for another five yards. And that would have gotten the first down. Wofford five pass receptions for 48 yards, and now it's third down and six. And the ball is at the 15-yard line and a timeout called by Clemson. Clemson has been playing a lot of different offensive linemen, and as a result, I think they're going to be a little bit fresher uh, than what the NC State Wolfpack defense will be. Their offensive line has been changing up in there with new personnel. On the left side, it's Akil Smith and Corey Halsey now. Third down and six. Big play in this game for Brandon Streeter. His team trailing by 11. They're at the Wolfpack, 14-yard line. Streeter with time. The ball in the end zone. Touchdown, Matt Lawyer. Well executed play. Very well executed. Look out. We got us a game now. 28-23. Streeter took his time and waited for Lawyer to find the open spot, and he put the ball right on the money. Amy Barnett under center again. Here comes the rush by Dingle. The pass is complete. And it is complete to Ryan Hamrick out to the 41-yard line. Gain a 17 on the play. This is what Jamie Barnett does so well. He waited, he waited, he stepped up in there and threw the ball to Ryan Hamrick. Let's take a look at it. Watch Barnett. He waits, waits now, waits till Hamrick makes the break. You know, Hamrick was a quarterback down at uh, Crest High School in Shelby when Coleman was the wide receiver. Both of them played on the same team. First, first down for the Wolfpack in this second half. Brings it out to the 40-yard line. There's the 
quick pass to hold on the wing. You watch him work. Carswell handling him and brings him down by the sleeve at the 43 yard line to gain a three on the play. Keep in mind, Clemson going without their top defensive back, Antoine Edwards. Well, there's no doubt about it. Carswell made a great play there because Holt normally can shake and jiggle a little bit, and the defensive back will head will go one way and then Holt will go the other way. So Carswell, give him credit for making the stop on a, a very elusive football player, Tari Holt. Holt with his sixth catch of the day, 142 yards. He's already got two touchdowns, one a spectacular catch and run of 85 yards. Second down and seven. Holt, quick out. And he's in Clemson territory, and he picks up a Wolfpack first down at the 42. Gain of 15, Dextra Polite on the stop. Let's take a look at it. That's a three-step drop again. Throws the ball, and he throws it on his outside. And Dexter Polite, the defensive back, makes the stop. But you can't break that up. Look at the look where the ball is thrown. And of course, Polite's off of him, and he makes a good uh, shoestring tackle again uh, to save him from going all the way. Makes the catch in stride. First and ten at the Clemson 42. Here's the option, Barnett. Oh. And Harold Means is there to help on the stop, along with looks like Freddie James. Well, oh, Means went over the lineman laying on the ground, the blockers. He went over the top flying and made that tackle. 45. Means from Spartanburg, South Carolina. He's a junior. Second down and nine. Ball at the 41. NC State sitting on a four-point lead. Play action for Jamie Barnett. Big rush on. Hit as he threw, but it's complete the hole for Holt. All the way in. Touchdown, NC State. 41 yards to Torrey Holt. Well, they're just that explosive. They're just... Very, very difficult to stop Torrey Holt one on one. Three touchdowns on the day for Torrey Holt. That was Alex Hartley, Hartley covering, and uh, you know it's very difficult to cover that young man. He came across the field, and of course uh, Barnett put it right on the right where it needed to be. And he took a hit after he delivered it too, Bill, because Clemson was putting a big rush on. Here comes Dan Deskovitz. Well, the point after, and NC State has extended their lead to 10. Just like that, they do it in about six plays. Brandon Streeter has been very impressive in this ball game. And that's despite the fact that his offense has coughed up four turnovers. He's 14 for 17 and 147 yards in the second half. Back to throw again. Four man rush this time, going deep. And hit it! Walker, touchdown! What concentration by Brian Wofford. A 52-yard strike. Oh, Streeter laid that ball up and let Wofford run right underneath it. Harrison was covering number two, but wasn't able to do anything about it. Brian Wofford, as you mentioned, had great concentration on the football. And Clemson going for two. They're five back. They want to reduce this to just a field goal difference between themselves and NC State. Wofford, six receptions, 100 yards, 52 on that last strike, and a touchdown to pull Clemson to within five. Brandon Streeter converted last time for two. Michael Kane looks on. He had adequate pass rush that time. They had four bodies in and possibly a fifth. But Wofford beat Harrison on one-on-one -on -one coverage for the score. Streeter looking to throw, a little zip pass, and for Gardner couldn't let it go. Little slant in. So the two-point conversion falls to the sideline as Harrison defends Big Rob Gardner on the side. It's going to be NC State leading by five when we come back. First and ten at the 44 of NC State. Here's Streeter to throw. Has time for complete. It's to Lawyer, first down on the NC State 28-yard line. Well, you just got to be impressed with Streeter. He sits in there, he takes his time, he waits for Lawyer to get open, and he throws the ball right where it should be. A Let's take a look hookup. at it. There's a good throw, right? And there's Lawyer coming across, and number 29 is trying to break up the play. That's Brian Wilson, a young freshman. 
First and 10 at the Wolfpack 28 yard line after the 16 yard gain. Streeter has had all the time of the world to throw here in the second half. Three man run, inside slot goes now to Wofford. And he fights his way down to the 25 yard line. Now Marcus Ford progress for a three yard gain. Adrian Wilson in on the tackle for the Wolfpack. That's that little slip screen again in, in Wofford. If he'd have cut the other way that time, he would have picked up more yards. He only made three yards, but the play was wide open. And look at Brandon Streeter's numbers on the afternoon. He's had a great day. 24 of 33. This is for the game in the second half. He's only missed four passes. 279 yards, two TD. Brandon Streeter. Second down now and seven at the 25. Scrambles out of the puck. Has some time. Pass. Oh, touchdown! Well, this guy has been impressive. Brandon Streeter has really been impressive this afternoon. Going for two. Crowd falls to a hush here as Streeter getting ready to try to give his team a three-point lead. Streeter again lofts it for the corner. Gardner over Harrison and it won't work. Well, they tried to throw the little fade pattern. Hopefully that uh, he could come up with it, but he didn't get the ball quite deep enough. But it's Clemson on top and now fighting from a position where they're in the lead. Here's the situation. 5-0-1 remaining in the fourth quarter. And the Clemson Tigers are leading NC State 36 35 NC State has the ball first down and 10 at the 15 of Clemson. Jamie Barnett directing the offense. Torrey Holt wide to the left side. Coleman wide to the short side. Looking to the wide side and he wants Holt in the end zone. Batted down by Dextra Polite. That was a very good play by Polite. The ball was underthrown a little bit, and Polite cut out in front of it. Dan Deskovitz. This is a young man who walked on from Charlotte, rescued this team, and has hit six straight field goals, and he hasn't missed a kick thus far this year. This will be a 32-yarder. His longest one has been 39. Dan Deskovitz on the scene. Out of the hole of Ryan Hamrick. It's up. And it is good. NC State takes the lead. Dan Deskovitz, the walk-on kicker, makes it 38-36. So Streeter has done the job on third down. Last time he went to third down, it was that inside slot pass to Brian Wofford. But he doesn't have that formation set up here. He's got Lawyer to the short side, Bailey to the wide side. He's going to go. He will put it in field goal position. Yep. They're trying to get it in the middle of the field. So they got a good opportunity to kick the field goal. So they are going to try for the field goal here as Zachary carries down to the 23 yard line. And now NC State takes their final timeout. That man, Torrey Holt, gave NC State what looked to be a lead that they could hold on to 35 24. But then Clemson came roaring back, got it to within five. It's a 40 yard field goal for David Richardson. Two out of six in his last three games. He's missed five out of his last seven. Out of the hold of Lair, there's the cap. It's long enough. It's good. Clemson leads. Well, this lead is seesawed back and forth, back and forth every time. 39-38. Clemson on top. Streeter out to congratulate the special teams as they come off the field. With 2.10 left to play. NC State 80 yards away from the end zone. Watch number 81, Holt. He's to the top of your screen as the outside receiver. Looking his way. There's the pass. Complete to Holt. And a shoestring tackle by Dextra Polite. Upset him. And it looks like he's going to have enough for a first down. Well, that's that same play that's been so effective for Clemson. Little slip screen. You'll see the people go out in front. There's Coleman blocking, making a block. And Hope gets about nine yards. Not enough for the first down. Not enough to stop the clock. And NC State's out of timeouts. Barnett to throw in the pocket. It is complete. It is complete to Hamrick. 
Ryan Hamrick to midfield in Clemson territory at the 49. It's a 23 yard game. They can strike in a hurry and they've got the people big play capability every time they line up and they don't need six. All they need is three and Deskovitz's range is 39. They're well away from that now. Clock rolling with a minute 33 left to play. Barnett back to throw. Scrambling out of the pocket. It is complete. Taken down by Chris Coleman. And he won't be stopped. Touchdown, Touchdown. NC State. But wait. I called him out of bounds. They're going to the call him out of bounds. Upfield. Matter of fact, they're going to call him out of bounds at the 22-yard line. No touchdown. Watch it on the screen. Well, it, you see Barnett rolling to his right. Boy, he threw that ball right in there to Coleman in between two defenders, and you can see his foot just barely step out of bounds right there. But, boy, he threaded the needle between two Clemson defenders. That was Carswell, number nine, and Re Abdullah, the other defender. Now, State is within field goal range. They're at the 22. They are barely within Deskovich's field goal range. Clock stopped with a minute 17 left to go. Stayed out of timeout. And they're going to move into better field goal range here. Robinson down at the 20 and brought down at the 17. Clock still moving with a minute and eight left to go. Ardley and Holloman bring him down. Well, he did a good job of taking that ball, going up inside and bouncing outside. He bounced outside for extra yardage. Good, good running by Ray Roberts. Down to the 17 yard line. This will be a 34 yard kick. We may get more here. Here is Holt. Holt dancing inside the 10 to the 8 yard line. Another first down. That'll stop the clock with 42 seconds left to go. For the officials to reset the chains and then NC State will start again. First and goal, NC State at the Clemson six, actually the eight yard line. Barnett back to throw. Barnett looking for the end zone. Touchdown, Torrey Holt. Well thrown football. Threw it to the outside. The defender had no chance of breaking it up. Well, I tell you, you, uh, you have to give NC State a lot of credit for their ability to strike and strike quick. Well, and the thing about it is, is that they go for the touchdown instead of the field goal. The field goal gives them the lead, but doesn't get them out of Clemson's reach. The touchdown, however, will force Clemson, when they get the ball back, they'll have to go for six. It won't become a battle of field goal kickers from here. Now, NC State wants to make the climb a little more uphill as they'll go for the two-point conversion. They're up by five. 37 seconds left to go and they've done all this mind you from their own 20 yard line with no timeouts they went six plays 80 yards again Ryan Hamrick with a big hookup Chris Coleman with a big hookup well Hamrick's made two big plays uh, two excellent plays in this ball game. and Holt has scored his fourth touchdown of the day here's the two point conversion as the crowd falls to a hush here at Clemson Barnett looking at oh, pass complete to he, Coleman, he held on long enough. They batted it out of his hands, but once he has possession across right. the plane, it's over. Once you hit that football and you're in the goal line, they can knock it out. You can fumble it. You can do anything you want to. It's a touchdown. Martin and Wofford to the top. Blitz is on for NC State. Pass out into the flash. Intercepted. Lloyd Harrison intercepts the ball, gets down on one knee. That's the fifth turnover of the game. And that pretty much seals it. And now NC State can just down the football and watch time run off the clock because Clemson has no more timeouts. And this game will end. Antoine Edwards considers what might have been had he been in there as the top defensive back for the Clemson Tigers, able to match up with Torrey Holt. But it wasn't to be. Michael Kane and Tommy West shake hands. And, and as Charlie Frederick said earlier, Michael Kane certainly can sympathize where Tommy West is now as the Tigers sink to two and seven. The Wolfpack now five and three. Well, let's go down to Charlie Frederick, and he's standing by with a man from Gibsonville, North Carolina, Tory Holt, who had a big day today. Are you ready yet?
Torrey, two minutes ago in the ball game, you guys are down. Any question in your mind that you're going to be able to pull the game out? Now, well, we, we practiced this all year. Uh, guys stepped up and did a good job. Ryan Hammer, Chris Coleman stepped up and did a good job. Got some completions. Jamie did a good job sitting back there. And we were just moving the ball successfully on them today. Games like this, uh, are you glad you didn't decide to turn pro? Glad you came back to your yeah, senior I'm season? I'm glad I came back. You know, I'm, I'm enjoying the experience that I'm having with my younger brother. I'm working on getting my degree. Uh, being here with my fellas that I came in with, I'm just enjoying everything, and I'm glad I came back. Any question you guys are going to a ball game? I hope so. We just we got next game. The next game is against Worry Fall. We're taking it one game at a uh, time. Hopefully we can go out next week, get a good win. We got to go out, practice hard, and just take it one game at a time. Hopefully we get in the bowl. Ever been in a game like this? As no, wild I, as I've never been in a game like this. I enjoyed it. Uh, Clemson is a good ball team. My hat goes off to them. I hope they uh, continue to, with a lot of success uh, throughout the years, and uh, I enjoy playing here. All right, Tori, congratulations. Thank you. Take care. Torrey Holt finished with 11 catches for 225 yards and the four touchdowns. For ACC fans who don't know, Clemson-NC State is actually a rivalry that goes back to 1899. It even has a title, the Textile Bowl. The trophy is a big bowl. We'll see who gets to take it home tonight. Thanks for watching another Throwback Thursday. I'm Jeff Fischel.